Well, we often hear complaints about Perth property prices, but how do our housing costs compare to the rest of the world? Oliver Peterson met a group of expats to find out how our homes stack up. The English. Yeah, we, we've got no plans to go back to the UK. The South Africans. Yeah, it's a good place. It reminds me a bit of home and, uh, yeah, similar climate as well. Our city, now their choice. And here's why. Value for money wise, you just can't, you can't beat Perth. Verley Phillips and her husband Hello. Mark left London during the heat of the GFC. They'd both lost their jobs and were looking for a fresh start. Back in the UK, this was home. A small two-bedroom terrace house, 50 minutes from London worth £175,000, around $315,000 Australian dollars. What a difference 17,000 kilometres makes. Their pride of place in Forestfield. A four-bedroom, two-bathroom house with swimming pool cost $420,000. 25 minutes drive from the city, um, you know, 25 minutes from the beach. Uh, we've got everything that we need here and it's all, it's all pretty close together. Verley is like almost 200,000 English who've settled in Perth discovering you get a lot more for a lot less. So Perth is home? Perth is home. The median Perth house price is $545,000, up $100,000 since December 2006, while in London it's risen to £590,000. That's $1.06 million Australian dollars. The hike is forcing friends of Verley's, like Donna Bartlett, who've stayed in the UK, to move further away from London. It's very hard to obviously find somewhere in, in London to buy because it will be quite, quite small. Donna paid £193,000, $350,000 Australian dollars to live in a three-bedroom home in West Cliff, about an hour's drive east of London. Another group of expats invading Perth's property market are South Africans. Welcome. Wayne Hutchins is one of the 30,000 South Africans who now call Perth home. He's building a four-bedroom home in Currambine, costing around $500,000. Make no mistake, you get a lot less yeah, than what you get home back home. He left Cape Town, where his home cost 3 million rand, $300,000, so his teenage children could have better opportunities in Australia. Unlike our English friends, South Africans have to spend far more to buy a house in Perth, around four times as much as in their former homeland. With the South African rand and the exchange rate, it, it is a little bit prohibitive. Um, but I suppose it is relative once you start earning Aussie dollars. But our expats shouldn't expect house prices to fall any time soon. Despite a downturn in sales and an increase in listings, the Real Estate Institute of WA says the market is actually very stable. It says with record low interest rates, there is enough confidence in the market that we shouldn't expect any major surprises. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.